Attorney Jonathan Elson, reminding you that if you've been injured in an auto accident, it's important to have somebody on your side. When you need a lawyer, then you need Nelson. You need at the recent Board of County Commissioners meeting, discussion was had regarding a nuisance complaint in Belmont, Nevada, alleging that there are high levels of nitrate in the water and wells that were drilled illegally. In the beginning of the item, there was a problem regarding the acceptance of additional pages of backup provided by Neil Jones, who is the one who reported the alleged nuisance. The issue was whether or not to accept the documents and continue the meeting to another day, or to not accept them and make a determination that day. Commissioner. Wickman made a motion to abate the issue, which was to accept the additional documents, have the public hearing, and make a determination another meeting. The motion passed three to two. Just before the hearing began, there was a small problem where attorney Arlette Newvine believed there was a conflict of interest on this item regarding Commissioner Wickman. However, Wickman stated she gains nothing and they are only constituents. She refused to not refrain from voting and the hearing continued. At issue here are the water wells that the property owners had drilled in which they did not abide by or conform to the existing laws of the state of Nevada with respect to having sufficient acreage to drill the wells and maintaining the mandated separation between the wells and their existing septic systems, thereby leading to the possible contamination of their wells and then the possible contamination of the water aquifer as a whole for everyone else in the town of Belmont. The negligent actions of the property owners, thereby creating the nuisance, is the illegal drilling of their domestic wells. These wells were drilled in the spring of 2015. The property owners did not maintain the mandated spatial relationships to their existing septic systems, referred to as an individual sewage disposal system or an ISDS. The concept of attempting to grandfather the combination of these systems in because the ISDS have existed for a number of years before the wells are drilled does not alleviate the responsibility of the property owners to abide by the well-known and well-documented laws of the state in place at the time they drilled their wells and their responsible responsibilities to keep from creating a nuisance. After Neil Jones, a group came up to disprove a portion of Neil Jones' nuisance complaint in which it said that owners of Motus Family Trust, Donna and Edwin Motus, have a well that has shown a 61% increase in the nitrate levels in the well water year over year. Our well water has been tested four times since 2015 and was, has never exceeded the contamination level on any test. Mr. Jones's comment that our well water was, has shown a 61% increase in nitrate levels year over year is a creative use of words. The maximum contamination level established by the US EPA for nitrates is 10. The actual number results from our well water tests show that the nitrates level have never exceeded 2.8 since our well was drilled with the most recent test result of 2.4. After the public hearing was over, the item ended and will be continued another meeting.